Hi everyone, uh, welcome to video number four of our Europe map. Um, we did a bunch of countries in uh, Eastern Europe, and I wanted to go over the capitals. Um, I've labeled the capitals since our last video, and I thought I would just go through them and let you, you can stop the video as you're um, doing each one if you'd like. But uh, we can start out with Russia. Here's a little star for Moscow. Okay. Okay, then we'll jump over to, we label Belarus. And the capital of that country is Minsk, M-I-N-S-K. Okay, then over to Poland. The capital of that country is Warsaw. Okay. And, uh, okay, now let's go to um, the Ukraine, and that would be Kiev, Kiev, K-I-E-V. Okay, uh, this country right here between Romania and Ukraine is Moldova, and the capital is Chisinau, C-H-I-S-I-N-A-U. Just now, let me make that look more like a capital C. Okay, um, from there we can go, um, let's jump over to the Czech Republic or Czechia, the way I labeled it. Um, capital Prague, P-R-A-G-U-E. Okay, and right next to that is Slovakia, which is, um, if you and write it right below, it's Bratislava, Bratislava, B-R-A-T-I-S-L-A-V-A. -A -A. Okay, um, just south of Slovakia is Hungary, and the capital is Budapest, right about there. Try to locate the stars just about where I'm putting them. That's the approximate location of each capital. Okay, uh, we'll jump over to um, Romania, and that would be Bucharest, B-U-C-H-A-R-E-S-T. Okay, and then we've got Bulgaria, and the capital of that is Sofia, S-O-F-I-A. Okay, and then we've got that country that kind of spans Europe and Asia. We've got the uh, country of Turkey. And the capital of Turkey, you see this part of Turkey is in Europe. This is getting into Asia. Okay, capital is Ankara, A-N-K-A-R-A. -A. Okay, why don't we also label the Black Sea? Eventually, we can call all that in. Over here, we have the Caspian Sea. This is actually more in Asia than Europe, I guess. Same with the Aral Sea. But seeing it shows up on the map, we can label it. You know. Okay. Um, now let's get into, uh, we'll go over to our compass rows and we'll label the western point. We're going to be doing western Europe. And you can see I folded my paper on this side to list all the countries that I'm going to label in western Europe. Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, Liechtenstein. Uh, Luxembourg, Switzerland, and Monaco. So those, uh, if you want to put those in a notebook rather than on the back of the paper, that's fine. Okay, so let's let's just go through those one at a time. Austria is pretty easy to locate, right, right here. I'll start with a capital A right about here. U. S T R I A 
Austria. I won't be using capital letters for these country names. Okay, now let's, uh, the next one in my list is uh, Belgium, which is right over here. Maybe we should do France first, because that's a big country, easy to see. Yeah, why don't we do some of these bigger countries first? Here we have uh, France and here's Germany. Okay, um, so those are some of the bigger countries that we're gonna be labeling today. And um, now we can go to Belgium. And Belgium is um, kind of a small country, so it might run into a little bit of Germany when I label it. B, B, L, G, I, U, M, Belgium. Okay. Let's get into um, this country just north of Belgium. This is the Netherlands. I'll put a little leader line and write it above. Now we haven't labeled any of the um, capitals yet, but we'll be doing. I'll do that um, in between the, now and the next video, and we can go over the capitals. Okay, now let's see Switzerland. Let's do Switzerland because that's a country right next to France. Switzerland. I can. I'm just gonna. I might angle it a little bit. It might go a little bit into northern Italy here. S W I T Z E R L A N D. Kind of went over the border a little bit, but this is Switzerland right in here. Okay. Now, if you look closely, you'll be able to see a small country between. Switzerland and Austria. See that little country right there? Now, maybe we could fit it right, right here. We could put like a little leader line like this. That's the country of uh, Liechtenstein. I'm gonna have to write it such a big, <laughs> it's a long name in a very small country. L I E. C H T E N S T E I N. Let's just sign that one right there. Okay, um, got a very another small country nestled in between France, Germany, and Belgium. Okay, maybe, maybe I could write it over here with a little later line. It's um, Luxembourg, L-U-X-E-M-B-O-U-R-G, and I'll put a little line pointing to it like that. Okay, cross that off the list. And uh, we have one more country that is not even, when we drew this map of Europe, we, we 
didn't even draw this country in. So you're going to have to put a little tiny country right about here. You see this little shape I drew right there? Right in southern France, almost to the next to the Italian border. This is Italy. Yeah, we haven't labeled it yet, but now that little country is called Monaco. M O N A C O. Okay, so little tiny. All right. So uh, that's um, all the countries that I have in my list for Western Europe. Okay, you can see I've, I'm going to add the capitals in before we do the next video, and we can try to label those. Um, I might even start coloring a few of these countries too to make them stand out from each other a little bit better. Okay, but. Um, that's quite a bit of work today. I think that's a good place to stop, and uh, we'll get into um, we'll get into Southern Europe in the next video. All right, good job.